Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Nematoda and Phylum Annelida. The fourth phylum is Nematoda which includes roundworms. Most roundworms are free living but others are endoparasites which are found in plants and animals. Nematodes show a bilateral symmetry. Their body is cylindrical, unsegmented with tapering ends while the head and appendages are absent. Nematodes have a small body cavity called pseudocele which is formed directly from the blastocele. The body wall is formed of a strong flexible non-cellular layer of cuticle. Near the body wall under the epidermal cells are the muscle fibers that run longitudinally. Nematodes move by the contraction of these muscle fibers. Nematodes exhibit metameric segmentation. In this case, the animal's body consists of a series of compartments in which certain structures are serially repeated. They exhibit organ system level of body organization. They have an unbranched cut with mouth and anus. The nervous system consists of a ring of nervous tissue around the pharynx with dorsal and ventral nerve cords running the length of the body. In nematodes, sexes are separate and they show sexual dimorphism. The male is smaller than the female and its posterior end is curved. The best known example of this phylum is Ascaris a roundworm which is an endoparasite and causes a disease named ascariasis. This disease is common in children and its symptoms are weakness, anemia, vomiting etc. The fifth phylum, Annelida, includes about 10,000 species of true segment worms. Annelids may be aquatic or terrestrial and are mostly found in soil. Annelids have a soft elongated cylindrical worm-like body which is externally protected by a thin elastic protein cuticle. The body wall is made up of soft circular as well as longitudinal muscle fibers. All annelids except leeches have chitinous hair-like structure called CT or KT which project from the cuticle. These are locomotory organs. Annelids exhibit metameric segmentation that is their body is divided into segments which are fully visible externally as rings. Internally they are separated by septa and each segment consists of certain structures of body systems. Metamerism increases the efficiency of the organism's body movement. Annelids show an organ system level of body organization. The internal organs of annelids are well developed. Annelids have a closed segmentally arranged circulatory system. The digestive system of annelids is a complete tube with a pharynx to swallow food, a stomach or gizzard for the storage and grinding of food and an intestine. Respiration occurs through skin, gills or modified parapodia. While for excretion, they have specialized excretory organs called nephridia. Each segment typically contains a pair of nephridia. The nervous system of annelids is made up of a pair of cephalic ganglia connected to the solid ventral nerve cord with segmental nerves. Annelids can be hermaphrodite or monoecious, that is, unisexual. Lava may or may not be present and if present it is a trochophore lava. 
Phylum Annelida is further divided into three classes Polychaeta, Oligochaeta, and Hirudinia. The first class Polychaeta includes marine worms with numerous pairs of chaetae. Nereis is an example of this class. The second class is Oligochaeta, which includes freshwater worms. They have only a few chaetae to each segment. Earthworm is an example of this class. Earthworms are beneficial to agriculture, although they may sometimes damage young and tender plants. They are good friends of a farmer as they continually plow and manure the soil. Birds, lizards and frogs feed on earthworms. The third class is Herodenia, which includes solid and liquid feeding annelids. Keti are absent in annelids of this class, but in order to attach to the animals on which they feed, they have suckers at the anterior and posterior ends.